made right. 32 degrees is the temperature. Time now, 641. You know, normally, theater organs belong in theaters. Mm -hmm. You know, big theaters, Ooh. like the fabulous Fox. Mm -hmm. And you'd hardly expect to find a big theater organ in the basement of a man's home in O'Fallon, Illinois. No. It's big. That's what, that's what <laughs> makes Jack Mullen such an uh, extraordinary man. This electronic wizard not only has the organ, but all the bells and whistles as well. We're going to visit Jack's magical, musical wonderland during this edition of Wobble at Large. Here are the ducks. Rubber ducky from Sesame Street. Oh, yeah. Jack Molman is an electronic genius who recently retired as an Air Force colonel after 26 years of working in communications, electronics, and computers. So it's not surprising that he was able to wire all of this himself. 18 and a half miles of wire, all connected to a control room in the basement of his home. He's got sleigh bells. He's got monkeys that play along with the music. He's got an electric bear that blows bubbles. The bells of St. Mary's, no problem. There's a glockenspiel here. There are small pipes and there are large pipes. And I started out with classical music and and just started getting into the popular. So we can do Bach, Beethoven, or beer barrel poker. Here's the full marching. Now, what's the idea of, of all this stuff? I mean, do you have one man like band? A, is that it? Is that <clears throat> well, okay, it's it's a technological challenge mm -hmm. to be able to connect all of this stuff. Yeah. And then when you're sitting here, you're the actual leader of the orchestra. So you've got all of this capability, and you just try to not get it all going at once, but get different sound effects for what's going on. Jack's got a gold record from 1973 when he was playing the mighty Wurlitzer at Shakey's Pizza Parlor in Anaheim, California. Who'd ever thought I'd be co-starring with the past president of the American Theater Organ Society? Jack's theater organ is fairly new, built in 1978, but he's restored vintage music makers like this 1919 marimba discarded from a church in Cuba, Missouri. The electricity to power all of his paraphernalia is equivalent to running four clothes dryers all at once. He's got 88 speakers blaring in his basement, which is fairly soundproof. So far, no complaints from the neighbors. And that's all at large for this morning. So like when he watches sporting events, does he do his own, play the organ there? This guy could do anything, man. Yeah. I mean, he could, that's but and I said, well, now you need it like the fox to have the organ rise out of the basement oh floor. But he Into said, the living room. Well, Hello, the, welcome instead, everybody. Yeah, instead, he's going to have it come down from the living room rather than dig a hole in the basement. Oh. He's going to come down from the living room with it. Big plans, big plans. Yeah, that's interesting. Little screen there where he projects little sing-alongs and... What a riot. A great tour. You charge take, your, take your class over yes, there. I. In fact, there, there is a fifth grade class nearby in elementary school, and they do make field trips to well, his house. If you want to know about it, give John a call then. Yeah. 32 degrees, the time now 644. Just add Kathleen has your morning road watch. Yeah, plus Glenn has...